Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2's Brazil. So last time, the Republicans have come into power, uh, and they immediately put in the Liberal Party, which means that our economy is going to immediately fucking tank. Can I even... Can I even, um... I'm not even allowed to subsidize our factories. Oh, why did I let the Republicans win? I should have crushed the rebellion. Oh, this is just terrible. I mean, yeah, we're no longer... Oh, also, our tariffs are capped now as well. Rebellion and our ally. Of course, we will... This is in Peru? Okay, Peru. Well, I'm sorry to say we're going to add you to my sphere. You're not friendly. You shouldn't be friendly with everybody. You're cordial. You're actually cordial with us. We actually probably, just, we probably could have gotten you back in peacefully. Okay, so now we're with you. Chile, would you please join the war? Ecuador. Call on our partner to aid us. Why can I not, why can I not call you in? I don't know. Colombia, we're going to call you in as well. Do you, oh, do you have a peace with Peru? No. Well, you don't have an alliance with them. They also would not say yes. Wait, you don't like me? Probably because I declared war and killed you. Okay. Bolivia, please join my war. We're going to send an army up north. Factories are closing. When, once, we have an election happening right now, right? When is this election over? The 31st of January. So, it's going to be a few months of some difficult times. But hopefully, we will uh, we'll, we'll come out on top. Right? I mean, who's the biggest party right now? I mean, people are mostly conservative and reactionary. And decent amount socialist. Either of those are fine. Any of them are better than the Liberal Party. Like, by a long shot. Okay, increase our military spending a little bit more. We don't need to mobilize. That'd be foolish. We got 20 stack from Colombia. We got a stack... Actually, decent... What the hell? Argentina communist? Okay, well, let's help Argentina deal with the rebellion issue. Actually, let's go, like, one, two... And then move our way straight into Santiago so that Chile doesn't fall to Socialist Revolution. But hopefully the Liberals lose the election. I'm hoping, because that would be good for us. 15th of December, we'll be in there on the 2nd of January. Oh, I hate... Again, the Liberals in this game are terrible. They're like, it, they just immediately cause an economic crisis in the country every time they're elected. Every single time. Okay. Uh, what else do we need for... Decisions. We need to... We need drilling and blasting. Which is... It's in... Yeah, it's you. Okay. We can make our way down there right now. And then we just need to save up our uh, cash in order to... You're going to fight the Peruvian army. The Chilean army is going to actually just steamroll them. Fantastic. The election should be done in about a week. If the Liberals win again, I will cry. Okay. Thankfully, the people have come to their senses and voted in the Conservative Party. Open every factory, subsidize every factory. We have no money. Immediately increase taxes, immediately increase tariffs. And just like that, everybody gets to go back to work. Look, like, look at that economy. It, it, it's great for us. Also, I think all the factories fucking got shut down and they lowered their level. Because when, when factories shut down, they decrease in level. The, the liberals suck, man. They, they, they destroy the economy every time. Um, okay, keep it marching here. So we're just trying to... Columbia wants to cut Peru down the side? Sure, why not? Let's do it. I don't like either of this. Okay, we're going to take Honduras down to level 1. Increase you up to... Cordial. We are then going to... Ban the British Embassy first. And then we're going to ban the American Embassy. And then they can get the hell out of here. Got a 13 stack. I don't even know where they're going. Let's just let's just march. March here, and then we're gonna march onto Lima and to the capital. Okay, keep on upgrading factories. I mean I know that it's that is hard. Communist propaganda. Let's crack, you know, let's crack down on them. Why not? I think I'll get there in time. You're now surrendering. Are you surrendering on both terms? You don't want to get cut down to size. And you know what? Honestly, 
I kind of don't want you to be cut down to size. Primarily because I kind of want you to have an army. We're going to choose back here. going to put one point into Peru. Actually, no, I don't need to put points into Peru. That's not actually what we're here for. We need to increase opinion. Increase relations. Okay, so you're now a little bit more happy with us. Colombia, we're also just going to ban the United States for a moment as well. Just so I can take you down to one and then increase on hers to three. So, I mean, France still has points here. Honduras, we're going to get the friendly soon enough. We have our own party as well. Okay, so there's been a mass rebellion. People did not like the fact that we, we got rid of the monarchy. We're going to split you guys in half. Both of you are going to be on auto hunt rebels. Then you will just go around like so. Yeah, go down and around. And then we will send you back here. I'm going to send you guys up and do this. You are going to come down and do this. Surprisingly. Um... Okay, apparently I can't actually fight you guys right now. Do you guys have a rebellion? No, do I have military access for you? I don't actually. Beat back Arden, uh, Chile's rebellion. We'll send troops up here and we'll send a troop back over to Uruguay. Surprisingly, Uruguay did not actually have a rebellion. You know, I'm happy to see that. Okay, we have some more money. People are still unemployed. Look, I'm trying to get our factories back up to where they were before, okay? Like, I understand that it's not looking great. But you've got to understand that, you know, thing, things are a little bit messy right now. Also, there is an international crisis going on right now. Um, the crisis is in Carlos, Spain. UK wants to back Spain. Do I want to... I mean, I can't... I don't want to back Catalonia. I'll sit on the fence for now. If anybody else wants to back them... No, nobody cares about uh, Catalonia. I would have gotten involved, potentially, if somebody else uh, took their side. But I, I can't... I can't fight the British by myself. That is... A ridiculous proposition. I mean, everybody, every other great power would have, get, would have gotten called in, but... There's no way I would be able to do it on my uh, on my own. Cordial, cordial. I mean, is anybody else actually at war? No, right now there's no war. So every other major uh, great power should have gotten involved in some way. But like, who honestly would have cared that much? Probably not many people, honestly. Yeah, so it's 1891. People are slowly starting to colonize the interior of Africa, Ethiopia. But, yeah, I mean Ethiopia as well. But Ethiopia and Egypt, both of them are actually currently not actually in any one of these sphere. So they're not actually going to get annexed right away. We'll see if maybe that changes in the future. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, you guys might as well. I mean, they're, they're already, they're like, they're, they're three stacks. You don't got to worry that much about them. Okay, Columbia. We're just going to decrease opinion of the French, but I'm back down to neutral. And you're already at the friendly, so Honduras will be in our sphere of influence very, very soon. Norway, we're at 100 with. Okay, we can now build steamer steamers. Okay, we don't have the naval base to actually do that, unfortunately. Because I be like we have no naval base technology, but like if you just don't think about it too much, that should be okay. Also, we don't need to be spending this much money on the military right now. Cut that spending immediately. Repay back our, our debts. And aside from that, I mean, we're really just saving money to try to build the Panama Canal. I would, I would really like to get that done. But it's very expensive again. I think we need what? Do we need $3 million, it said? Columbia gains a million dollars. I mean, actually, because we're a great power, we don't need the money right away. One follow the true. Brazil's a great power, or we're a secondary power, and we have $3 million. 
So as long as we can get drilling and blasting, we can begin the uh, the canal. But it costs a lot of money. And again, Brazil has never really been a rich country. Let me just put it that way. Okay, we're going to put one point in Venezuela. Decrease the opinion of the United States down to neutral. I think Colombia's in 10th place. No, it's in 22nd place. Three prestige or 10 prestige. Absolutely. I love 10 prestige. We we'll get drilling and blasting next. Honduras, we can add you to my sphere of influence. Welcome, welcome. We'll then put you down to one. Put one more point into Colombia. I mean, I would love to form the uh, Central America as a new state. Just because it would it would give me like a permanent ally because they do become a puppet. You well, typically they become a puppet, and that would be nice. I would I would love a little uh, a little puppet state for us. Now let's keep these troops just in the area. You can stay on auto hunt rebels for now. And who who's actually trying to rebel against the country? Primarily right now, next would be the Communists. Would be the next Rebellion. Got some good troops around here, Colombia. You're already back up to freaking Just expel. Just, just get him out of here for now. Also, expel is not what I want. You want... You want ban Embassy. Expel is actually garbage. It's terrible. You want, we want a ban Embassy. Not, uh, not expel. Ban the British, well then ban the uh, ban the Americans. Because again, once we start the Panama Canal, that's that's really what the AI is actually interested in is, is the Panama Canal. So if we built it, there'll there'll be nothing for them to actually really think about. How's Italy doing, by the way? They're in tenth place. They're getting higher up the the, the power rankings, which again does worry me a little bit. Japan is now. How does, I mean, Austria has 300 prestige. I, mean, I will say a military is not that great. It's actually the worst by far of the great powers. America actually doesn't have that many, uh, that many points here either. So it's not like we're that far behind. Okay. Oh, we get some rubber. Which means we can now do the uh, rubber boom. Does that costs us money, by the way. No. We get a lot of things have been renamed. We get some rubber. Fantastic. Hopefully that gives us some more money. We want to pay 50,000. I'll pay 50,000 pounds to join the Olympics. Maybe we can even win the Olympics. And that'll be, that'll be a nice little uh, prestige boost for us. Because who doesn't love some good prestige? I love good prestige. And if you're watching Nish, you should also love good prestige. So France is once again trying to declare war on the Germans. They now have called Russia to their aid, so that's a little bit more. What What do you mean, fucking America? Put my points back up here. Wait, can I ban them even though... I guess we're on equal footing, right? Yeah, ban... Get, get the Americans out of here. Okay, great wars have been discovered. You're ruining my perfectly good continent, America. Russia now wants to own Ostprussian. I mean, that would that would be really bad for Germany if they actually lost that territory. There were 300, which actually means that we now... Owned by Brazil. Yeah, we need to get back to our sphere of influence in order to actually uh, to start this. Because you're going to be done in June of this year. Actually, we should have... The, the influence we need by then. We're already at 73. Iron production is fine. We're making about a thousand pounds a day. Is there anything I can do to make even more money than that? Yes, cut down the military spending even more. Like right now, the army doesn't need money. I need money so that I can build this freaking canal. Okay? Everybody should understand that. Okay, there are some unemployed people. Well, if you're in an unemployed state, I will upgrade the factory for you. But that's it, okay? You're not getting anything more than that. Okay, 5% steel output. Who owns, who owns this? 
It's a German puppet state. Okay. So Germany has released uh, Namibia as an independent state. Or in independent, quote-unquote. It is just a German puppet. Okay, so now that that's done, what do we want to get? You don't unlock until 1900. Do we have any research tech? No. Let's go one more education. I mean, our literacy rate is at 17.8%. Which seems bad. It, it does not seem very good. Germany actually lost Ostprussian and they lost Alsace Lorraine. That is really bad for Germany. Like, how, I don't know how much population or even industry was in this state. But it's not, it's not very good. Like, what's our most industrial state? Sao Paulo. I mean, Sao Paulo, I think, is where we built um, all of our industry, all of our military industry. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. Maybe in, yeah, let, let's build another factory here. Because you need, you need steel. Let's just build a steel mill there as well. Boom, done. Get a steel mill here. Everyone else, there's just not enough people working in any of these factories for us to really justify building anything else. Primarily due to the fact that you actually all need steel. Rio de Janeiro should have a steel mill as well. But again, the the way that industry score is calculated is not about how profitable the factories are. It's just how many people work in said factories. So the people are working in the factories, that's literally all that matters. Anything here at 100%? Let's put you down to one for now. Bolivia and Chile, Japan's trying to get some influence there. Also, wait, Colombia I need you to be at maximum because I'm going to go back down to zero in just a second as I add you to my sphere. And then we're going to build the beautiful, beautiful Panama Canal. It'll be very, very, very expensive. So actually, what, what do all these numbers actually mean? We can pay your O2 million. Five percent chance. So if we pay the most money, it'll probably be done faster. Ten West Canal under construction. Pay your O6 million. I'll be honest, I'm just gonna probably cheat the cash in. So uh so so sue me because I don't I mean, it says lose 2 million. These ones actually don't say lose 2 million, unless it's at the very bottom. I'm just going to do cash 550000. Zero. Also, it's not cash, it's money is the command. 5500000. Five, zero, 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 zero. And then we have to do another cash of. Money 1,000, money 10,000. Okay, so we paid, our, we paid all the money. Look, where did I get 5.5 .5 million pounds from? From generous Brazilian investors, that's where. Okay, if anybody asks, that's where the money went. But now, because Colombia no longer has the Panama Canal, it no longer owns this territory, Nobody cares about it anymore. Or at least they, they shouldn't, basically. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put more points here. And also it's nineteen hundred well nine it'll be nineteen hundred soon. We just have a hundred communists over here. Can I I mean do I have troops I can send over to there? I mean the answer is yes. I don't really have any allies in the area. Give me military access so I can station an army over over there. Put in what other units we actually can. It's just... Okay, we actually only have two transports. That's bad. Um, want the video. Wait, do I have... Do I have... Uh... Oh, these only need to be level 1s. Also, steam frigates are not what we're looking for. I need um, transports. Four, ten. I mean, you're actually just better than men of war. But yeah, let's get our let's get our transports in here now. You require steam convoys, which actually I don't have any of. I will just I'll just buy a handful of them. Even though they are a little expensive, don't get me wrong. But we'll keep twelve at a time. 
And now these will build much faster. Fantastic. So in a few months, we'll get this guy ready to go. I don't even think they'll be able to siege the capital in time for before we send troops over. We don't want our ally to uh, to completely collapse. Also, I think some of our troops have rebelled against the army, which is a bit sad. I know, they're irregular. So actually, no, they should just be the regular rebels. You guys up north. Any rebels over in the north? No. Any rebels in the south? No. We got two stack of Colombian reactionaries, but that's not really anything we need to worry about ourselves. Okay, I mean, this, this all seems fine. We're completely A-OK. -okay. In a moment, all of our boats will be ready to go. Get our education up. And may maybe we'll start getting our way down to, uh, to Dreadnoughts. I mean, how, um, you need a little fine nail base. Okay, fine. Well, we'll start getting, uh, we'll start getting these techs. Also, now France all of a sudden is very interested in all of South America. And I'm honestly not even, like, too, too sure why they are all of a sudden. I mean, Chile, I mean, they're neutral opposed with you. Friendly in Argentina. Okay, we can't allow that to happen for obvious reasons. Decrease America back down to Cordial. We can now do the native status. The Protection Act is... We lose 10,000 pounds. We lose 5 infamy. We accept more cultures. That's just good. So you shall protect the native... Uh, the nations in Brazil. Our troop transport should now be here. Fantastic. Load up our army. Send our navy over to Honduras. And just make sure that everything there works out well for us. France is in fifth place. Germany is actually still in third, even though they lost two pretty important territories uh, for themselves. How is our ranking going? I mean, we're still okay for now, but it, it, it is still scary. I mean, Italy has a lot of cores that they want to take. I'm a little scared. Just, just a touch, though. Just a touch. So now that we have Honduras, is there anybody else you want to maybe start influencing? I don't really think so. I mean, there's still some countries down here in Africa that... Like, what about Gaza? Place in the sun, 5.5... Is this for a state, or is this... I think it's for taking a state. I mean, for taking a southern state. But I kind of want Brazil to have at least one... What about, like, Madagascar? Demand concession. Are you civilized? No, you're not civilized. Is demand concession the annexation? No, you're forcing them to see territory in a colonial concession... What makes you different? Oh, because they have a... No, I guess you have a colony? Yeah, technically, Southern Gaza is a colonial state of Gaza. Which is a little strange. Don't get me wrong. I mean, what's the population here? 584,000... I think we're just going to just fight. I think we're going to get our own little place in the sun. I think Brazil should have at least one colonial holding. And if you disagree, you are a traitor of the country. Okay, we immediately got discovered for five infamy. If only we did this prior to... Okay, I'm going to get these units. Would anybody over here give me military access? Germany, would you give me military access? Negative 71. Britain, would you give me military access? Negative 87. So we're going to have to sail our way over there eventually. That's fine. I, I don't think it'll be a big issue. But I do think that at least for right now, this will be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not enjoy, click something down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.